this what you want, Mike? No, that ain't that. Right, I got you. This is where we make our real money. Selling stuff you'd never think about buying in a gas station. Ah. No, bro, what the fuck is that? Come on, man, you're killing me, man, you're killing me. Hold up. Fake perfumes, Rolex watches, and of course, the Malcolm X hat, which is now Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> Baby, what's up with you? Ah, that's it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Darth Bell. Excuse me, Caddy. Can you get my neck? Uh, very funny, <laughs> man. You 20 minutes late. You about to get your ass kicked in the parking lot and on the ground. Wow, so much not been giving it up last night. What's wrong, Grouchy? Yeah, man, it's been a hell of a morning. It ain't even noon yet. What happened? Man, me and Sophie got into an argument last night. And then my neighbor, as we started to quiet down, my neighbor started knocking on the fucking door, talking about, is everything all right now? <laughs> you have got to be kidding. Man, no, I'm not. Uh, so what So what happened? Man, so she came to the door, and I guess she just wanted to make sure everything was all right and stuff, man. So in the middle of this little tirade, I just slammed the door in his face. Man. You guys were that long? Yeah, man. Go on in there, man. Just check in. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Yeah, what well, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him. He just had a rough couple of days. and know he's about to have a rough time on the court. Whatever, man. I'm sorry you're having a rough morning, sir. Hopefully things will go better on the course. No, likely. Yeah, we'll see. The loser buys. <laughs> I'm always buying. So what the deal? Oh, you are going to provide a little life today. Look, man, I refuse to let that knucklehead next door ruin my entire day. All right, then it's off to the course. You know, I'm really thirsty. I hear they got a great steak and lobster dinner here. <laughs> You would never see it, my friend. We'll see. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Now, Man, you have got to be the luckiest bastard alive, man. A holy one? <laughs> Time's a wasting. Yeah, man, I sincerely hate you, though, and I want you to know that. It don't take all day. Yeah, she came by the restaurant, went for a walk. Very romantic walk, as a matter of fact. You hit that, didn't you? <laughs> a gentleman never tells. <laughs> so you say, so start talking. <laughs> this is the third night we spent together, nosy. As I said, you got to be the luckiest bastard alive. <laughs> well, you know, in this case, I'd have to agree with you, man. I mean, I really like her. You know, she's sexy, smart, funny. I mean, all the things a man could ask for. But she knew that. Yeah, man. Me, her, and Sophie have been friends for years, man. Hey, what are you guys doing tonight? We're supposed to get together later. I don't know. We ain't got to record. So it's pretty much up in there. Well, why don't we all get together and do something? All right. I see. You know, I check on the little lady once I get done with this dog. It was hard to be homesick. I had already been on U.S. soil for 15 days. And it was as though I had never left my homeland. Men, it seems, change very little when you cross vast oceans. <laughs> 